couple years ago, I had the covenant title as Miss Navajo Nation in 1986 and 87. When I was uh, selected, I didn't have a crown. So he embarked on um, designing a crown for me. So him and a couple other, my siblings got together and they, um, they came up with this beautiful crown for, for me. And I always thought about that. I thought what, what, what an inspiration he, he did and with my family. It, would, it really brought a lot of pride to our community and our family. And to this day, I always take it out, look at it, and I'm thinking of Herbert, what he must have been thinking of what he wanted me to accomplish. My Hogan, it's, um, it's dedicated to my brother Herbert because of his design that he put in his jewelry, the step design. And the step design came from my mother's weaving. The step design goes around my Hogan, and to me, it feels like um, my brother's holding me in his arms. That's the way I see it. And um, I'm thankful for him, whatever amount of years that I spent with him. I really had a lot of respect for him, and I loved him very much. My son Herbert made the house for me and really appreciated him. I sure like it. So I stay here and sleep good and rest. That's what I think. So, so I remember him. So, so I thank him for it to me. He's a lot to me to this day. Even even while he was alive, he was a lot mean more than now to me. So I don't know how to put it, but he's he's like that. I figure that um now and then sometimes I dream about him. And I always ask him, Where are you at? Where are you at? So oh, I'm around. That's what he says in my dream. That's what he, he says to me. And whatever's going to happen, somehow in my dream it tells me like, um, see, this is what's going to happen. And and when I when I look at when I think about my dream, I always wonder what do you mean like this? And then I study, and maybe about a year or so, something related to those things happen. So all these things, somehow, I still can contact him, or he contacts me in a certain way and through dreams. I dream about him almost like every week. He's, he's in my dream. Like uh, almost every, every week when I'm sleeping, I dream about him. Hey, Robert, remember this? This is how the song goes, or we drive somewhere, and hey, what about this? He's always in my dream. So has my dad. What, what the, uh, they were teaching us, what he left us behind with it. It's in the dream that he tells, do this again, and sure enough, they're right. My dream tells me something. So I don't know. So I, I do miss them, but it's like they're around, so I'm happy about that, you know. So even, I, even when I'm talking about it, the two, my dad and my brother, they're not here, but they're here. But uh, when I start talking about it, I get the chill. <laughs> Every time we were going back to Arizona, it was always in the evening that he would pick, us, pick me up and we would talk about things and we'd be always driving into the sunset. So every time I see a real beautiful sunset, that's what really reminds me a lot about my dad and my dad's family. Um, but he was very respectful to his parents and that was something he taught me. And that's what I carried on to my son is to be very respectful to elders. Um, he always, had a lot of love for his parents. He was always concerned about them and worried about them. And he was a very loving person and he cared a lot about his family.